Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our exploration and coverage of the sport continues. This time, we go back to an old friend of ours. He is known as the wrestling guru to many folks. He has a new book out called 90% Mental, The Way of the Wrestling Guru. It's available on Amazon, Smashwords, and Amazon Paperback, and CreateSpace. It's Chris Lembeck. Chris, how are you? Um, great, Scott. Yeah, and thanks for having me on the show again. I appreciate it. Well, congratulations on the new book. It's a continuation of the exploration of mind and body for you. Tell us about this new book. What's it about? Okay, well, you know, 90% Mental is kind of the, the first wrestling-specific mind optimization system that's designed to take you, you know, basically from where you are now to where you want to be in the fastest, easiest, and surest way possible. All right, yeah. so guys like Kyle Dake, were, were, uh, they mentally envisioned themselves winning championships, or he did. And, and I've seen this a couple different times, Logan, Steve, or, 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 and there's any number of guys out there, but they visually, they wrote it down and they owned it. Is that what we're talking about here? Precisely, Scott. You know, as wrestling evolves, Okay, we're figuring out that we've been spending a lot of our time on the conditioning and, you know, the technical aspects and the strength. And those are definitely a big piece of the puzzle. But the one aspect that's been almost totally forgotten about, and, and we're getting a little bit better these days, but the mental aspect is really where all the good stuff is. And especially because hardly anybody's doing it. You know, I mean, in today's wrestling world, Everybody's in shape. There's really not too many schools. You know, Iowa used to have, hey, Gables guys, they were in better shape noticeably. You could see it, you could feel it, you could taste it. But now, you know, because of Gables, you know, greatness and everything that he preached and the champions that he produced, his mentality or his teachings kind of flourished and went around. So kind of everybody's now in great shape. So I look at the mental realm as kind of wrestling's last frontier. And because of that, it kind of is, in my opinion, the most potent and powerful way anybody can go to up their game. All right, so it's not necessarily, what you're saying, it's not uh, first and foremost a proper double leg or a single or any kind of a takedown. It's not about that. I mean, there's a thousand kids that can do that, but that one kid that takes it and puts the metal in front of the physical but combines the two of them together, that's the kid that's going to win or should win, right? Exactly. Ask any coach who's been in the business for more than a few years, and you'll find that teaching a double leg and getting a kid to execute a double leg <laughs> is not the difficult part. See, all these kids come to us with, uh, with a, a sense of you know, doubt, some fear, anxiety. Mm -hmm. And as a coach, your job, number one job, in my opinion, is to rid them of that. A double legs, dime a dozen. Every kid in the country can shoot a double leg. But... What kids have the most difficult with, and the really heart and soul of coaching, in my opinion, is how to get themselves to believe that they're a champion. See? And then once they can start to believe that they're a champion, that's when all the good stuff happens. And as a wrestling community, I think we haven't really done a very great job of being able to actually manufacture, if for lack of a better word, you know, a, a mindset. You know, the Zanetti brothers, you know, those guys, everything's the mindset. And, but what we haven't done, I think, hopefully until now with this book, is a, a real uh, practical and effective way that you can actually help your kids develop that mindset. And even going back in and talking to the athletes at the collegiate level or, or guys that are needing to refocus for world and Olympic goals that they have set for themselves. So we're talking with Chris uh, Lembeck. He is the wrestling guru. 90% Mental, The Way of the Wrestling Guru is the new book. It's out this week. You can find it on Amazon and other ways. We'll continue to tell you about that. But what I'm hearing you say, Chris, is that this, is, this can be a game changer mm -hmm. for the mind needs to be massaged. It needs to be, the ideas need to be reinforced. Thoughts, images, everything that need, uh, empowers your physicality comes from upstairs. Am I right? That's correct. And I kind of have to just correct you a little bit. I mean, the, the guru is a little bit, Scott, more of an imaginary character. And the, the guru himself is not me. The guru is a hundred 
of the greatest wrestling minds, you know, of all time and space. You know, the Guru is a compilation of Dan Gable, Kale Sanderson, Rob Cole. I mean, dating all the way back. So we kind of put this imaginary character together, and yes, I kind of formulated it and took all the information and studied and researched it and all that good stuff. Um, but it's basically a compilation, you know, of of everybody, of all the greatest and, minds, and, and not just wrestlers. You got guys that that have been in your head like Zig Ziglar and, and Jim Rohn and, and Les Brown and Tony Robbins and other guys. But for me, you are my wrestling guru. You see, that's, you've been so, so many times been on my show, you've yep. become my guru. Yep. And it's because you've taken the time to break it all down. It's a, it's a powerful tool uh, once addressed correctly. And you've done that in this new book, 90% Mental, if, 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 if uh, used correctly, and a, and a good wrestler, a good coach, is going to have this as part of their arsenal. It's going to be in their library. It's going to be something they refer back to. It's like a textbook. It's not a primer. It's a textbook on how to get the job done, right? That's right. Okay. That's exactly right. And the, the thing about wrestling is we've always tried to you know, go about it the most difficult way. If it doesn't work, do it harder and longer. You know? But that mentality is kind of fading away. Balance is a new intensity. And so what we've got to do is like, you know, give them the simple ways. The mental aspect of self-evolvement of these wrestlers is actually the easiest part, okay? Because we're talking about writing, we're talking about creative visualization, we're talking about uh, massaging the mind, like you said, mm -hmm. you know, inundating the brain and mind with all the good messages that we want our kids to have. It's the easiest, you know, and, and I, we almost, you know, as a, as, a, as a sport, we don't like that word, you know, so, but it is. I mean, you want to take advantage of the low-hanging fruit. So what we do in the book has a way, a very practical way, in which you can get your message to those kids so they can evolve as a person and on the mat. I like the idea. Um, and, and what I'm hearing you say, and correct me if I'm wrong, but... It's easy enough for a guy to become a gym or a mat rat and just go in and practice singles, doubles, etc., or escapes, or various techniques. But the, the, the difficult thing, and that's why the champions are so very select, is that they've taken that extra step and they take that time to engage the mind. Mm -hmm. And for the price of, I don't know, how much is the book? The book is twelve ninety five. dollars three cups of coffee, and it's a <laughs> mindset in a book. <laughs> okay. and, and a coach could take that twelve ninety five and turn that into an applied science for his team and literally affect generations of kids and future coaches, right? Oh, definitely. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great sports tool for any coach. And if, if, coach, if a coach would apply this, system to the whole team okay i mean I, miracles begin to happen because it's one of those the more the merrier and once you start having this and creating this as part of your you know your coaching your teaching and you actually start to bring in that attitude into your culture you know big things happen and what what we found is you know and we kind of did some beta, beta testing before the actual production of the book but what will happen is this will kind of spread throughout the, uh, you know, your culture of the team. And these kids will start to take it on themselves because a lot of kids are students of the sport. We want to keep creating more students of the sport because that's such a huge part of how you become great. But once they start becoming an active uh, person and taking ownership in their career, in their involvement, okay, great things happen. You know, you can move much further much faster going through the mental realm than you can the physical in in my opinion i've noticed some of the guys that have endorsed your book some of the guys some of the people some of the athletes and and i see the names of people i respect a great deal guys like mike kraus and chuck yagla and dave malachek Alyssa lampy is enjoying so much success but they've endorsed it for a variety of reasons first of all that that real value that intrinsic value but also the unique ability of the system to work and they don't endorse things lightly uh let's talk about jason Sertzis and how he used this to uh to capture an ncaa title 
Okay, yeah. Uh, we we approached and like we we've approached a couple of different coaches before. You know, as we were still working on it, we approached some coaches, some athletes of all levels, youth all the way up to you know where Alyssa Lampy is, and and search. And what we did with um, Jason was ask him to use the just a self advertisement campaign, in which um, and I won't get too much into that, but you know it sounds like it is. Basically, we're using the power of advertisement, which is like a gazillion dollar industry, to sell not a Big Mac, okay, but we're trying to sell an ideal mindset to somebody. And it works just the same. It works just the same. So the repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition, you have your kids shoot 500 double legs, okay, but also the mental aspect, you have to have them think a certain way. You have to have them, you don't have to, but we, we encourage you to have them practice seeing themselves win that title, seeing themselves walk up on that award stand, and then we actually want you to feel it because in this business, in this, what, what we're going for here, feeling is, is truly the secret. Ah, I get it. Okay. Um, so the search is, was able to be a part of this as it, as it evolved, but he was actually able to own it. So not all coaches are going to, um, share with the public for fear of, of, uh, I suppose, uh, uh, evening the playing field, if you will, but not all coaches are, 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 even if they are using the system, are going to come right out and say, "Hey, I'm using, you know, 90% mental uh, to to help coach these kids or help uh, uh, train these kids." Uh, but there are coaches out there that, if you look at what they're doing, it's very much along the same line as what you're talking about in this book, right? Yeah, exactly right. There are coaches who are using uh, this system at the collegiate level that have asked us kind of not to, you know, mention that they are, they, they like it, they use it, but you get to those top coaches, they are very secretive. They do not want anyone to know what they're doing. As a matter of fact, in talking with some of these coaches, uh, they, when they're doing interviews, like maybe between at the nationals or along the way throughout the season, they often give some misinformation or just say some stuff that really doesn't make any sense <laughs> because, you know, they've got good stuff. They're using good stuff. And it's like anything in any business or any competition, you don't want your good stuff out there. So, um, yep, lots of people using it, but, um, some of them, uh, just, yeah, they want, they don't want to, uh, you know, sing the praises so much because people would give away what they're doing <laughs> so what you i don't but i don't blame them yeah. <laughs> but at the same time we're kind of selling our short our, our ourselves short uh to use a wall street term but we do we do we short ourselves uh and become a little protective where we could perhaps expand the sport by sharing what we do know and 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 do it in a in, a, in an entertaining way perhaps uh, make it quick I know you've got a pocket piece that that uh, you send out too right yeah yeah um, can you can show us first of all hold up the book for me show us the book yep. show us what the book looks like if you would okay here here's the book hopefully I can see that pretty okay so that's the the 90% metal the way the wrestling guru and that's Mike Krause's uh, testimony right there uh, just basic two wrestlers. Here's the wrestling guru. There he is. Right in there. Yeah, yeah. Thinking uh, about it, isn't he? And, and Kraus, you mentioned Kraus. Is there is there is there a guy that I mean, the excitement he possesses. Yeah. And the way he coaches is so infectious. Mm. It's hard not to engage. It's hard not to be a fan of Mike Kraus and his style and what he's done is really mastering what we're talking about here, right? Oh, he has. What, what Coach Krause has done, in my opinion, he's really got the idea of getting their attention. Mm -hmm. There is nothing more valuable than that, whether you're a teacher, coach, boss, whatever. Everybody has trouble with focus, concentration, retention, all of these things. And how many practices, you know, I've been in the sport for 40 plus years. So how many times have you been looking around a practice room and the guys are just kind of bobbing and, you know, and they're listening. It's just wah, wah, wah. Nothing's getting in there. It's like Charlie Brown's teacher. <laughs> but Mike Krause, you know, that guy, 
you're going to you're going to take it in. He's going to keep your attention. He does engage probably better than anybody I've seen. And then, of course, when you are paying attention and you're engaged, learning goes up. And like you mentioned, I think with the fun, it's very entertaining. And I think once wrestling coaches and people kind of get that concept, you know, we've got to we've got to be entertaining because especially kids today, they're used to a lot of bells and whistles, you know, all this technology and games and this and this. To get their attention, ask any teacher, okay, that's the hard part. That really is the hard part. And of course, no matter how good of a coach you are, if if you don't have their attention, nothing moves. Got to get their attention. That's how we move the needle, if you will, toward the W column, and we got to do that, and it's got to be consistent. How can you do it, folks? Well, you can be a part of it. We're talking with uh, my my wrestling guru, a guy that's put it all together for me, makes it easy for me to understand and be excited about the sport on a daily basis, having done it for all these years. 90% Metal is the new book, The Way of the Wrestling Guru. Where can you find it? Well, Amazon Kindle, Amazon Paperback, Smashwords, Create Space. But the easiest thing I should, I should uh, suggest you do is check out the website. It's OWS Win, Optimize Wrestling Systems. Contact information there, the web store, services, the blog, everything you need is there. The basic philosophy of, of what uh, Chris talks about and uh, is talking about in his book uh, really endorses the idea on how you can find your way to the world-class level of competition. Chris, it's always great to talk to you, and I appreciate the, uh, the book. I, lo I love the new website as well. You serve so many different folks at different levels from individuals, teams, and entire communities, and you've been doing it for so long. Can they hire you as a consultant as well? Yes. Uh, actually, we just kind of launched that OWSWin.com. It's a website with the new idea of, you know, wrestling. Yeah, as a wrestling kind of could use some consulting. There's a lot of coaches out there, new coaches, young coaches, experienced coaches who want to go and, and, and get a little bit better you know there's there's it's one thing to try to get there on your own but it's often more effective and efficient if you go and ask somebody or get the help from somebody who's already been there and done that so what we do is people call us and we give them uh, there's several different systems or several different applications or several different uh, things that they can use to help improve them technically. We have technical stuff too, um, but our, our really prized possessions are, this, are the mental part. So the consulting, uh, they can go there and get some consulting for sure. Chris Lembeck has been our guest. Optimize Wrestling Systems, the way to world-class wrestling. It's an easy thing to do. All you got to do, first of all, get the book. Uh, check out the website and uh, follow Chris's work. Uh, I'm sure you'll find a benefit, as I have, as he addresses beyond the physical, the mental realm. That's where success lies, between your two ears and behind those eyeballs. And I'll tell you what, that's what we're looking for. The Olympics around the corner. And you can do what so many of these athletes, so many of these coaches do. Take it to the next level with Chris Lembeck. Chris, thank you so much. Yeah, Scott, it's been a total pleasure and, and an honor. I appreciate you having me on here. Great to talk to you again, and I and, uh, hope to hear from you soon. We'll talk to you soon, Chris. And fans, we appreciate you being a part of it, listening and watching as you do to each and every one of our interviews. For all of us at Takedown, thank you 